The East Bay is a premier region and ideal for the right work-life balances. The region brings so many qualities, good mix of businesses, strong communities, schools, and the great outdoors. The East Bay is a, a very fertile ground, and I think people like living in the East Bay. It's sort of a hub in a very synergistic way. The uniqueness of the East Bay is we're large enough that we offer space to grow, and we have a great population of potential workforce here, but we're small enough that employers can come together and work together to build it. Alphabet Energy is a Hayward-based thermoelectrics technology company where we make waste heat valuable. Uh, Ripple Foods is a company making alternative dairy beverages. We take a more technological approach. We identify the right plant proteins and fats and carbohydrates to combine into the best possible plant-based milk that you could possibly get. Revolutionizing the food we eat, making it more sustainable and more nutritious. The Vets to Tech program was a partnership between Las Positas College, Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, and the Alameda County Workforce Development Board. This program prepares veterans for jobs in advanced manufacturing throughout the Bay Area within two years. And Aduro is an immuno-oncology company working in cancer. Uh, we have three uh, very important platform technologies we're using to address cancer and we look forward to expanding this activity into autoimmune diseases and infectious diseases as well. We're a six billion dollar advanced manufacturer located in Fremont and Livermore. We make a semiconductor equipment that's used to make all of the chips that you see in all of your electronic devices. I'm Cedric Brown with the KPOR Center for Social Impact, an Oakland-based organization ensuring that everyone can participate in the tech economy. Captricity is a web service that takes uh, handwritten paper forms and converts them to digital data. I'm the Director of Innovation Research at Microbe Biotech, and we are a green tech company focused on water purification, wastewater treatment, and the production of bio-based chemicals. The East Bay is unique. We have diversity that you can't find anywhere else, and we have this culture of civic engagement. So particularly when I find entrepreneurs who are thinking beyond their business and are actually thinking about their communities, it's really easy to kind of advocate for this space because we're a really unique community. I'd say the East Bay is the future of innovation. You're now seeing innovation starting in the East Bay, uh, in Berkeley, in Emeryville with synthetic biology companies and now some of the food tech companies. We have been able to build a pretty significant footprint in Fremont as well as manufacturing in Livermore. And working with both the cities and the county and even at the federal level, we've been able to quickly get permits, we've been able to expand and uh, build quite an infrastructure of uh, a thousand employees that live in in the East Bay and are able to work uh, locally. The East Bay is where you come to get rooted and I think that we'll be able to benefit from the growth of the economy, the growth of the regional economy because people want to get here and stay here in the East Bay. A useful comparison uh, to the East Bay is kind of where Silicon Valley was maybe 10 or 15 years ago. Uh, in the East Bay you see a kind of rugged entrepreneurship that Silicon Valley has sort of lost. Wells Fargo has been part of the East Bay community since the 1800s and we continue to grow our presence year after year in the East Bay. A fantastic talent pool already embedded in the East Bay, coming out of Berkeley, coming out of Cal State Hayward. All of the schools that are in the East Bay and the talent that's there is really easy to tap into. Anyone involved in manufacturing, anyone that has engineers working, they want techs as well. So we're really building a workforce for the East Bay. We're very uh, focused on giving back to the community. So we participate in STEM education. Uh, we bring kids in from local high schools for internships. Uh, we work with the junior colleges. A couple of areas that we focus on in the East Bay is enabling our next generation of workforce through STEM education programs that we fund in the high schools. We're heavily invested in the East Bay community and many thanks to our partners like East Bay EDA who continue to keep us connected and further our presence with the small business owners. And it's nice to be part of a vibrant kind of changing a diverse community, whereas I think there's a bit more of a tech monoculture in other places in the Bay. When we find some success, we'll get this really special opportunity to be part of the voice of tech equity and the way that tech shapes the community. 
And I, I love the narrative here, especially in Oakland, you know, folks who talk about tech equity about how Oakland's gonna shape tech. I love that, you know, reversal. There's work that can still be done here in the East Bay, and that's one of the things that I've really enjoyed tapping into while being here. It seems like it's a, a small enough community to access people, but it's a large enough community to contain many ideas and many perspectives. And we need both of those things in order to get our best work done.